hello everyone so i've created this christmas glam and i'm going to show you all the steps that i did to achieve this starting off my base with this maybelline fit me dewy plus smooth primer this primer is really good for dry skin and before applying any makeup for everyday use you can even use it as a moisturizer Next up is foundation. I'm using the one from L'Oreal Paris Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation and I'm using a wet sponge. This sponge is from Pack. I've recently bought it and I must say this is the softest sponge I've ever used and it somehow does its magic really well in making sure that your foundation is blended really smoothly into your skin. So I am just applying the foundation here making sure that everything is well blended into my skin. And now it's concealer time. I am using this daily forever 52 concealer. This is the exact match for my dark circles and I really love using this concealer as the first base for my concealer. And I am applying it wherever uh, there are a few pigmentation spots and over my eyelids as well. I am brushing my eyebrows applying Etude House Brow Pencil to make sure that all my sparse areas of the eyebrows are filled really well. Brows take a lot of time so I am just going to skip ahead with the concealer. Here I am blending the concealer with the wet sponge making sure that everything is blended really well and onto my eyelids as well as a base for the eyeshadows I am going to use. Blend 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 is the key for a flawless base makeup. Here I am using the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer under my eyes. As you can see the shade is a bit lighter but I like using a lighter shade on under my eyes to give that brightened effect. Now it's time for some bronzer. I am using the Huda Beauty Tantor. And bronzer is applied to give some color to our face. Apply the bronzer evenly and now it's time for some powder. Here I am using the K-Beauty Setting Powder. As I have very dry skin on my face, I am going to apply a very very light layer of the powder under my eyes, set it really well and I am just going to powder it, brush it under the eyes, over my eyelids and a bit on my T-zone as well. Moving on to the eyeshadow, I am using this Jaclyn X Morphe Volume 2 palette, applying a very subtle transition shade to my eyelids and I am going to top it off with the shimmer eyeshadows. I don't want my eyes to be overpowering as I'm going to be wearing a red lipstick today so that's why to keep it subtle I've just applied a transition shade and some shimmer on my eyelids. Here I'm using the Revlon Scandalous Eyes Eyeliner to define my eyes and I'm going to use the same brown metallic eyeliner for my lower lash line as well and I'm going to smudge it out a little bit. I'm using the same transition shade that we applied on our eyelids to smudge out the lower lash line. Curling my eyelashes for applying the mascara. It's my favorite mascara from L'Oreal Paris. It is their Lash Paradise Mascara. And now I'm completed with the eye look. Here I am applying the Rimmel London Bronzer to top the cream bronzer that we applied previously onto my forehead as well and as well as on my jawline. Applying a bit of a bronzer on my nose as well. Using the powder blush from Color Bar, I am going to quickly apply this powder blush all over my cheeks and a little bit on my nose as well. As you can see, I am just applying very little pressure and uh, making sure that the blush is blended really well. Now I am just going to line my lips using this red lip liner from Swiss Beauty. Ladies, you need to know that if you are wearing a red lip, you need to line your lips. It's a very crucial step if you want to really enhance your red lip. Here I am using this Huda Beauty liquid lipstick. This lipstick is my favorite one and this was gifted by my best friend so I love it even more. And I'm just going to set my makeup with a setting spray. And now the last step which is a highlighter. This is from MAC. It is their soft and gentle highlighter. And with that, we are finished with the makeup look. Thank you for watching.